I've got all the snapshots still in my head and they're there and uh, the sensations, the smell, the, the different thoughts and the sounds that I was experiencing. I mean, they're right here. I can, you know, they have never gone mm -hmm. away. Um, but the best thing for me at that time, I was a DARE instructor. So that was very helpful. Um, but my wife and I, it also happened to be our wedding anniversary that weekend. And we had planned a weekend at the Anderson house. And uh, so this was Thursday night when yeah. the, the Brum uh, incident occurred. And Friday, we had some friends coming down from the Twin Cities to take care of both our kids for the weekend. And we were going to leave that afternoon to go to Wabasha. And uh, of course, things changed a little bit. And, uh, we didn't get out of town until later in the afternoon or later in the evening. It was, it was well into the dark by the time we left. And um, that was really the, the best thing because... Uh, and of course, my wife was very concerned. She knew something had happened. Of course, the news was was just covering uh, the situation, and, and which, of course, it should. And uh, to to go up there to take that, it was a very quiet drive. Uh, we didn't say a whole lot or talk a whole lot. Um, and then it was the, the next day uh, coming down for breakfast. It's, you know, Anderson House is having mm -hmm. breakfast. You're supposed to have, go to bed and sleep and wake up and have breakfast. And, uh, I came down, uh, we both came down that next morning, and the, the dining area was really full with a lot of folks, but there was not a word being said, it was just quiet. Mm. And uh, looked around as we sat down, and uh, people were reading the paper. Uh, almost every table had a newspaper. Mm -hmm. And I uh, looked around, and you know, I kind of got a sense of what was going on, and I looked at my wife, and I said, man, if they only knew. Yeah, um, here yeah, we sit. Yeah. And we hadn't had much. We, we hadn't talked much about it at all. But that kind of started it for me. And, and then after that, I had no issues about not talking about mm -hmm. it. Um, I'm not going to stand here or sit here today and say that it's never been a. a, a, a there haven't been difficult moments. There certainly are. I mean, that was was a, a bad day. But uh, you know, you have to find a way to work through those things and, and process it. And and uh, you know. Talk about it. And talking about it with people that care about you is probably the, the most important thing that I think any one of us can do, whether you're a law enforcement first responder or, or a citizen. Mm -hmm. um, talk about it and process it and, and let other people hear, uh, hear about your situation and they can help. Um, once you talk it out, it, sure. it, it helps.